Hi, Innocent Miracle here. Welcome to Chess with Dutch. Today we're going to today we're going to continue our series uh, on how to play chess, and today we're going to consider three special moves. There are special moves in chess. They are promotion, um, percent, and um, castling, and we're going to talk about them in depth. Do hang around and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so I have removed some piece from the board to explain what um, castling is. Castling is a move you make where you move the king two squares to the left. Okay, two squares to the left and um, bring the rook over to to meet the queen to meet the king. And when I do this. You can see I move the king two squares to the right, sorry, and uh, the rook crosses over. This is called castling, and this we would make this move when we just some sort of safety move. It usually, you are being told in the opening that you should dominate the center, attack the center, and all of those. And you don't want your king to be caught in the crossfire in the center. So the basic thing you do is you castle, you move your king away from the center. And this move we just made is counted as one in as much as it's two pieces that moves together that moves is still counted as one as one now this is called the uh, short castling when you can suit towards the right now when you can suit either towards the left is called long castling when you castle towards the left is either called long castling now okay let me make a move here yeah and i can castle both ways if i castle towards the left here is called long castle now if you had noticed i cannot castle here okay uh, i cannot castle i cannot castle towards i can castle here okay if i hadn't if i hadn't castled i cannot castle towards the right with the white piece because the queen is in the center now you have three rules to consider when castling one your piece shouldn't castle into your king should not castle into check yes into danger maybe it's been covered by your opponent's piece uh, let me show you an example here let me show you an example here all right uh let me move this out move this out move this here okay uh, let's say i take this out and i have this here Okay, e square here and here. Uh, just let me set up the board position to explain my point. Now, uh, okay, one more thing. One more thing. What else am I missing? Okay, okay, this should be empty. Now, if I want to castle, I said the king cannot castle through check. Okay, let me make a random move here. Now, this king cannot castle towards the right hand side. Why? This bishop. Why? Because this bishop is covering the square. And the king has to move through through the square the bishop is covering. And doing that is an illegal move. It's not permitted because you are putting your king in danger. So the king cannot castle towards the side, but it can castle towards the right. Uh, towards the left sorry that is the long castle and another rule you should note is the king and the rook the king or the rook should not have moved before you castle for example here i can only castle towards the right hand side i cannot castle towards the left because this rook has moved from its initial starting position i can do this okay i can no not that i can do this why is it not letting me do that? Okay, normally I'm supposed to be able to castle towards the right with the black piece. So that is it. I said you cannot castle into check. The king and the rook must not have moved. The king or the rook must not have moved. Oh yes, and finally there must not be any piece interposing between the king and the rook. 
there must not be any pit interposing between the king and the rook. Alright, let's say for instance we have a knight here. You can see we cannot castle. Okay, let me make this move here. Now I cannot castle towards the right hand side with the white piece. I cannot castle towards the side with the white piece with the white piece because the king is the king and the rook is being separated by the knight. But what if, if I move the knight out? Let's say to this place and let's say black plays a random move. Now I can I can't be able to castle actually. Uh, I should be. Okay, I think I've moved this rook before now, so that's why it's not moving. Well, that's how it is. You should have not. Have, you shouldn't move the rook and the king before castle. If you do that, you will lose your right to castle. You cannot castle on that check. And there must not be any peace in between the king and the rook. So that's it for castling. Let's talk about ampisant. Now ampisant is a French word that means in person. So basically what it means in chess is when your opponent's um, pawn lands next to your pawn in its from its, from its original position, two steps next to your pawn. Right, let me make a bunch of random moves here. Okay, random. I keep moving this pawn. Keep moving this pawn. And, uh, okay, no, this way. Okay, let me take it again. Okay, I move this pawn. Just any pawn. I'm just making some random moves. I move this pawn. Now, if my opponent, my opponent can either play this one square or two squares. But if it plays this square, I can capture diagonally. This is called ampersand. I can capture diagonally. Why is that? Because naturally, um, before my opponent, my opponent can move, can land to this square. Before my opponent can land to this square here, he has to go through this square, and my pawn is covering that square. So my pawn is covering this square. So if even if it moves twice. I can see them take it. So I move it one, two, lands here, and this can also capture this is ampersand. Awesome. But there are rules, there's just one rule. If your opponent makes this move and you don't capture immediately, maybe you play a move first before you want to capture. Now you can no longer ampersand. You can see this okay, it's black to play, let's say black play this. You can no longer capture ampersand. You can only capture ampersand immediately the move is made. So I hope that's understanding enough. Alright, the next one we're going to talk about is promotion. Now, um, the pawns are usually the weakest piece on the board. But when white pawns get to the seventh rank, seventh rank, this is the seventh rank, they become very powerful. And likewise, when the black piece also gets to the second rank, they become very powerful. Because once they get to the last once the whites get to the eighth rank and the black pawn gets to the first rank they are promoted for it okay i can move this pawn down here and now i'm being asked what do i want to promote this pawn to i can promote it to a queen i can promote it to a knight to a rook or even to a bushel most often than not you promote it to a queen because queen is the most powerful piece on the board i can choose to promote this one to a rook and this can promote and uh, make a choice, okay? Promote this to a queen and promote, promote to a queen, promote, promote whatever piece. I can even promote to a knight. That's how it is. So once the pawns, once the pawns get to the opponent's um, camp, that is the seventh and the second rank respectively, and they can get to the eighth rank. They have been promoted to any special, to any piece, um, to any piece that the player wants. So that's it for castling, and so that's it for these videos. If you have any question, please do well to drop it in the comment section below. If there's any contribution, I also like to say it in the comment section. Thank you and see you in subsequent videos. Also do like and subscribe if you've not already done that as this is
this will go a long way check